good keeper is nice. Can I keep that way outside? Mm -hmm. Put a jacket on, it's cold. And make sure you have socks. Get your pink jacket that you're wearing earlier and get some socks too. There's like four people on there. We are the United States. I don't know. I don't think it's going to take her much longer. She's trying to talk. <laughs> you got boogers right there. Yeah, I'm not taking care of it. <laughs> Travis. What? Shh. Trying to get the baby talking. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm hmm Yeah. How do you vocalize it? Ah. ah, there we go. Go more. Mm hmm Yeah. What else? Tell me all the horrible things she does. Yeah. Uh-huh. She does. You gotta be more vocal. More with the yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know that was, that was good. Okay, try again. What she did? What she did? Mhm. Mm what does that do? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She does what? Hey, what? Oh, for a Klondike bar. Hmm. Hey, oh, what? Hey, what? Mhm. Mm yeah. Try again. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, Heidi from The Minimalist Homeschool and I just wanted to share really quickly with you one of my favorite resources when it comes to teaching our children the Bible to understand what's in it and um, really this isn't even just for the kids. Adults will love this as well. My husband and I have watched all of them. We love them. It's one of my favorite things to suggest to people when they are um, going to read the Bible um, you know, on their own or, you know, some of us that maybe grew up in the church and are very involved and things like that, but have never actually sat down and read it just totally for ourselves. This is one of my favorite resources to share with anyone, whether you grew up in the church or that you didn't. And, um, obviously it's made for the kids, but it's just that great that adults, you'll love it as well. What's in the Bible? This is a series that Phil Vischer, the same guy who made Veggie Tales back in the day, which I loved as well, but he made the series What's in the Bible where he goes through with these puppets and they're super cute, but he goes through from Genesis to Revelation, every single book of the Bible, breaks it down. When was it written? Who was it written by? Is it a history book? Is it, you know, what, what's the context of it? What's the point of it? It goes through everything and does a phenomenal job. It's really, 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 really good. Um, so we started buying these. It's kind of silly. Actually, I've bought the DVDs multiple times, but my kids do not do so well with DVDs. We've got a handful of them here and most of the cases are all missing. So we stopped buying the DVDs, to be totally honest, and I just bought the digital copies on Amazon. So we have them all, the kids can get on the TV anytime that they want, pull them up and watch them. I know that various streaming services offer the What's in the Bible series as well. I think right now Pure Flix has them all. So if you have a subscription with Pure Flix, you can watch them that way as well. But whatever way you get them, you will definitely enjoy it. They're such a great thing to have. And again, Phil Vischer is the creator of them. Some of the areas that I wasn't too sure, my husband and I were kind of like, hmm, these are kind of tricky subjects. I wonder how he's going to, you know, kind of go over and explain those. We were a little weary of it first, and then after we watched them, we're like, wow, that's that's really great. I love Phil Vischer, love the VeggieTales series. Um, he even has a family podcast, if you go over and want to listen to that. Um, I even got his book, Me, Myself, and Bob, and read that. It's an amazing book, really great, kind of just explaining everything that went on with VeggieTales and where he was at now. His um, His breakdown of what a dream is that he explains in this book, is like life changing to me. Um, I loved it. So highly, highly recommend. I'll link all of this stuff down in um, the description box too. So if you want to check that out, you can. But 
We use it with our free minimalist homeschool program. We read a chapter out of the Bible each day. So each time we get to a new book in the Bible, I like to link on there the What's in the Bible episode for that. Our kids, even though they've seen them all, when it's time to start a new book, I love going ahead and just pulling up that episode so that they can watch it. It's kind of a great refresher for them of kind of understanding in a super fun way what we're getting ready to go into and learn about. It's even great for me and dad to kind of just have, you know, a little refresher course, the way that they explain things in just a very simplistic, pure way is really, really awesome. So if you do not already have what's in the Bible, you must go check them out. They are absolutely great. If you already have it, comment below. Tell us about how you and your family like it and use it. Um, definitely one of the greatest resources I think we have today for learning the Bible ourselves and for our children. So go check it out. Hope you and your family love it as much as we do. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.